and Lewis is a new play telling the story of jazz pioneers Lil Hardin Armstrong and her husband Lewis. Here with more on this play with music is director Harry Bryce and actor Marta McKinnon. This is going to be fabulous. I read so much about it and I'm so looking forward to hearing about it. So tell our viewers about Lil and Lewis. Well, I, first of all, I'd like to say this is a, a well-crafted play uh, that gives us an opportunity to explore a part of our history. And uh, it is a play with music. Uh, it is about Lil, who is the second wife of Louis Armstrong. Oh. And she was instrumental in his success and career, mm -hmm. even as a, uh, 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 she wrote many of the songs that he made famous. Um, so this is really about Lil's story and, uh, you know, what she went through all the years she was married to him and he was gone away most of the time, mm -hmm. but she persevered and they were still uh, together, you know, when she was 72, mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. she was celebrating his passing, and then she passed not long after that. Mm -hmm. But, um, in fact, she passed at a concert uh, while performing. Wow. Uh, and <laughs> it's right. the way to go. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And she, oh, no. Yes, she talks about that in the play. Okay. And so, what, what makes your play so special? Well, I think uh, what makes it special is that we so seldom delve into the background of these, these people we think of as stars, mm -hmm. but who was in the background? Who was there when you didn't know them at all and was encouraging them and helping them to build their brand? And so this is an opportunity to show you know, one, how important the African-American female is to the unit, the family, the husband, right. and, um, and how much contribution they make to our, our daily life, ba daily balance. Absolutely. So, um, and it's so seldom that you see this kind of play being produced. Uh, it's usually about the male figure. Mm -hmm. And this time, we get the opportunity to celebrate Lil Hart Armstrong, mm -hmm. who was the backbone of, of this Lewis. man. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, <laughs> Miss Lil, Miss Marta. Yes. Uh, why are you, um, what makes this so special? I mean, coming from, from a, a hundred years, really, yeah. from yeah. the 1920s to the 2020s, what, what makes it still relevant to you? I honestly believe that the last few years have been very relevant to women empowerment mm -hmm. and having a, such a strong character such as Lil or person a strong woman such as Lil um, her story being represented in such a way where I have a history lesson now I know that I was not born in that era yeah. A lot of information from um, school was not placed to where she was relevant. Yeah. So it's important that right now in, 20, in the year 2020, we're in a whole new decade. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> and we've made it this far and it's, it's really amazing to see how far we've come with women mm -hmm. and them being recognized for the, uh, the amazing talent that they have. Mm -hmm. um, she was definitely pushed to the back, but I've never known, I hope I don't misquote this, um, the, the quote, behind every man there's an even greater woman. This play is just, it Perfect speaks example. to it, like, like directly, okay. because it's it's really important, it's an, it's an amazing story to be able to so tell. Ob so obviously it's about you and, and <laughs> Louis, but what what what's the team what what's the team life bringing well, us back it, to life like? The, you know, it's an exciting uh, ensemble of actors who, uh, you know, I kind of think of them as what we would call in the business triple threats, yeah. in that <laughs> they're you know asked to do 
almost everything. So, you know, I come from the school of stone soup. Yes. And so I think an actor should be prepared to be whatever you ask them to be, a plant, if necessary. Right. Exactly. So, um, this group of actors uh, are playing several different characters mm -hmm. within the play because it is historically placed and so there are other people who were instrumental in their careers as well okay. so we kind of bring all of those people to life all right now be before we hear <laughs> marta sing a little uh -huh. bit we want to let our viewers know that the plays are taking place january 21st to the 25th, the 25th. Um, and you have a couple matinees. Yes. Okay, and where's the performance is going to be held? It's going to be at the First Presbyterian Church of Sarasota. Okay, so people can go online there if they'd like to get tickets Absolutely. For it's okay. in the Fellowship Hall, and that's on Oak Street. Lovely, lovely. Laurel okay. Park. So we're going to have a little bit of music, and then you're going to sing a bit for us? Of course. That would be lovely. Well, when you're ready. Okay. Sometimes I feel like a motherless child. Sometimes I feel like a motherless child. Sometimes I feel like a motherless child, a long way from home, a long way. From home. That was amazing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Wow, mm -hmm. what a voice. Thank yes. you. Thank you and so much. And much more of that <laughs> All when right. you come to see Lil and we'll Louie. We'll be there. Thank you yes. both Thank for you being so here much. today. Thank you. Thank you. After the break, we hear about some exciting upcoming events on the Sun Coast.